اهلا بيكم في كايرو ده النهارده هنتكلم عن molecular biology means study the substance that responsible for the transmission of the characteristics from the parents to the offspring we understand that the genetic information is carried on the chromosomes and the chromosomes are located inside the nucleus of the living organisms during the cell division The chromosomes should be divided into two groups, or each chromosome divided into chromatids, each change into chromosome. To allow each of the two new cells to get complete copy of the genetic material. So the chromosomes are act as or act as a carrier of the genetic material. But the chromosomes are composed of about 50% DNA and first 50% protein. What about the genetic material? the DNA or the protein. At first, the scientists thought that protein carried the genetic information, not DNA. Because the protein composed of 20 kinds of units each is called the amino acid. But the DNA composed of four types of nucleotides only. So, the protein can produce more variation of the different combinations than that of the DNA. But the discovery that the DNA is the genetic information in 1940 to act as a new science which is called the molecular biology. What about the evidence that proves that DNA is a genetic material? Three evidence can prove that the DNA is the genetic material. The first is a bacterial transformation. The second is the experiment of the bacteriophage. The third is the quantity of DNA inside the cells. So what about the first evidence, which is called the bacterial transformation? We know that in 1928, the British scientist Griff made an experiment by using the pneumonia bacteria. Pneumonia bacteria is a bacteria responsible for causing a certain disease of the human and rats and many mammals that's called the pneumonia disease. But the pneumonia bacteria are divided into two groups. One of them is called the virulent bacteria and represented by a letter. Virulent bacteria means bacteria causes disease and leads to death of the rats. It's represented by a letter because the surface of the virulent bacteria is smooth. So it represents by a letter. But the second kind of the pneumonia bacteria is non-virulent bacteria. Its surface is rough, so it's represented by R letter. The non-virulent bacteria causing pneumonia disease, but not lead to, leads to death. So Griff explains that two kinds of pneumonia bacteria cause, cause the pneumonia disease. One of them is virulent, leads to death, but the second is non-virulent bacteria. When Griff injected the mice with the heated killed virulent bacteria S, it doesn't cause the disease and the rats not die. But if the rats are injected by the living R bacteria or non-virulent bacteria. That causes disease and also rats are not die. But when the rats are injected by mixture of living non-virulent bacteria R with a dead or killed virulent bacteria S by piling, some of the rats die. During the examination of the dead rats, Graf discovered the presence of living virulent bacteria S inside the dead rats. That means the non-virulent bacteria R can use the genetic material of the dead virulent bacteria S and the change or transfer to the living virulent bacteria. So that's act as a, or that's called the bacterial transformation. 
means the transformation of the bacteria from the strain R into the strain S by using the genetic material of the virulent bacteria. Graft explains that may the living, living non-virulent bacteria R use the genetic material of the dead or killed virulent bacteria S so that leads to the bacterial transformation of the, or transforming the R bacteria into S, living S bacteria by using the genetic material of the virulent bacteria. Avery can isolate the genetic material of the virulent bacteria S. That means if the genetic material which is isolated by Avery added to the living R bacteria, the R bacteria can use the genetic material of the virulent bacteria and change into virulent bacteria. That means the transformation takes place. Every isolate the genetic material and explains that the genetic material is DNA. And the DNA is responsible for the bacterial transformation from the strain R into the strain S. But the scientists explain that may the isolated bacteria by every containing the living uh, 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 which containing the DNA which is which is a genetic material of the virulent bacteria and also may containing impurities of protein which may act as a genetic material. So the DNA was not act as a genetic material immediately because of the presence of impurities of protein inside the sample which is isolated by every. But the, co the crucial experiment explains that when the deoxyribonuclease enzyme, which act as an enzyme causing a complete hydrolysis of DNA, but not affect the protein or RNA, when the isolated material by every is treated by the deoxyribonuclease enzyme, the bacterial transformation stops. That means the absence of DNA causing the absence of the transformation of the bacteria R to S. So that act as the evidence to prove that the, the genetic material of the virulent and the non, and the non virulent bacteria is a DNA, not as a protein. So that act as a, ver, as a first evidence that prove that the DNA, not the protein, is a genetic material. But what about the second evidence? The second evidence depends on a certain type of virus, which is called the bacteriophage. The bacteriophage is a molecule of DNA inside a protein coat. The coat extended like a tail, which attach the bacterium cell wall to fix itself on the bacterium wall. DNA containing the phosphorus, where the protein not containing the phosphorus but containing the, uh, uh, the protein containing the sulfur. So when a certain virus or a certain bacteriophage is labeled by the radioactive phosphorus inside the DNA of the virus and the radioactive sulfur inside the protein of the virus. That means Hirsch and Chess make a virus containing radioactive uh, phosphorus inside its DNA and the radioactive sulfur inside the protein and allow the virus to infect the bacterium cell to explain which is the, which is the substance which you get inside the bacterium cell. If the radioactive phosphorus get inside the bacterium cell, that means the DNA is a genetic material. But if the radioactive sulfur which you form is a protein get inside the bacterium cell, that may explain that the protein is a genetic material. But what about the experiment? We understand that when the virus infects the bacterium cell, it fix itself on the bacterium cell, and inject the genetic material inside the bacterium cell. After four minutes, the injection takes a place. But after 15 minutes, the duplication or the formation of the protein coat is formed inside the bacterium cell. After 20 minutes, duplication of the genetic material of the virus takes a place. But at the 28 minutes, the genetic material of the virus gets inside the bacterium coat. But 
during or after 32 minutes rapture of the bacterium cell takes a place and about 100 complete virus get out or released from the bacterium cell when the virus is labeled with the radioactive phosphorus inside the DNA and radioactive sulfur inside the uh, uh, protein and allow the virus to infect the bacterium cell what about the observation the observation that the very radioactive phosphorus entered inside the bacterium cell but less than 3% of the impurities of protein may get inside the bacterium cell that means the radioactive phosphorus or the all the amount of the DNA get inside the bacterium cell but not the protein so the conclusion the genetic material of the bacteria and the vag is the DNA not the protein if the genetic material and the protein may the radioactive sulfur get inside the bacterium cell not radioactive phosphorus but the radioactive phosphorus get inside the bacterium cell so that act as evidence to prove that the DNA is the genetic material of both of the bacteriophage which is the virus and the pneumonia bacteria or the bacteria which is called the E. coli bacteria which is act as a bacteria where the experiments of DNA takes place on it but what about the third evidence the third evidence is the amount of DNA in the somatic and reproductive cells, which is called the gametes. If you compare between the somatic cell and the gamete at the egg of the bird, during the comparison between them, we can explain that the amount of the somatic cell of the bird and the amount of the amount of DNA inside the somatic cell of the bird and the amount of DNA inside the gamete we will observe that the genetic material or the DNA similar in both in the amount of the DNA in the somatic cell double that than that of the uh, DNA inside the uh, gamete but the amount of protein may increase or decrease the ovum or the egg of the bird containing the amount of protein greater than that of the somatic cell but the amount of DNA in all gametes of the living organisms have the amount of protein inside their somatic cells. If all living cells are containing the somatic cells with the amount of DNA double than that of the DNA inside the gamete, that may explain that the DNA is the half amount inside the gamete because we understand that the gamete containing the haploid number of chromosomes or half amount of DNA or half amount of the genetic material because during the fusion of the male and the female gamete the zygote which is formed to N but if you compare between two somatic cells in the same living organism or the same species we will explain that the amount of protein is differ in different kinds of the somatic cells but the amount of DNA similar in all the somatic cells but what about the made and the destroy of the DNA and protein inside the same cell if one somatic cell containing the amount of protein and the DNA the amount of protein may increase or decrease because it act as the food stored inside the cell but the DNA is not increase or decrease it's constant so that act as evidence to prove that the DNA is the genetic material first you can compare between somatic cell and the gamete after that we you can compare between the amount of DNA and protein in two kinds of or two different types of somatic cells after that we compare the amount of protein and the DNA inside the same somatic cell that will prove that the amount of DNA in all living or in all living cells in the same soma in the same species the somatic cells a similar amount of DNA but differ in the amount of protein but in gametes the gamete of the same species containing half amount of DNA but the amount of protein may increase or decrease according to the kind of the gamete also the DNA or the amount of DNA constant inside the same cell but the amount of protein increase or decrease because it acts as a food stored inside 
the cells. So the three evidence that proves the DNA is a genetic material as a bacterial transformation, the bacteriophage experiment by Hirsch and Chess, and the amount of DNA inside the somatic cells and gametes. So that's act as the first part of the DNA, which proves that the DNA is a genetic material, not the protein. That's the end of this part. Thank you very much. Goodbye and good luck.